на максимальну кількість питань спробую відповісти. So, hello once again everyone and well, welcome to my session. For those who may see me for the first time, my name is Yulia Kenets. I'm a methodologist at Internal Education and today we are going to talk about some advantages of using the program, the platform that's called Pearson English Portal. And you know the the introduction to my session has been done some time ago and now it it, it all has changed because of the current situation with this quarantine but still i want to ask you if you agree with me and i'm sure you will especially now that the world is becoming more and more you know globalized and united using the internet so i we cannot imagine our life without the access to the internet right now at all everything we do is now digital is now online so apart from teaching let's just leave teaching you know aside for a moment what other things do you do online do you use some other online sources some pages um something i don't know so i don't want to spoil the answers that i have but maybe you have something in mind so great olga shopping and paying the bills absolutely agree reading the new social network so communicating with relatives abroad that's a great idea i also have some relatives not living in ukraine that that's my cat if you can hear her she's here she's very active today so sorry um chatting with friends so communicating learning online of course hobbying social networks once again okay so lots of ideas absolutely great i agree with all of you so i also had in my mind so paying the bills doing online shopping uh, online deliveries for food especially now right when the cafes were all closed and the restaurants were closed uh, once in a while i'd like you know to spoil myself with some sushi maybe so watching films absolutely agree watching films listening to music that's what we do maybe it's not quite right but still we do that so i put it here i want to be honest that's what i do online absolutely every day and well of course the most important especially now is learning and teaching online and if we think about learning online or teaching using online resources what do you use the internet for in terms of teaching so now of course it's like zoom lessons skype lessons something like that what else what else do you look for on the internet some resources okay great some ideas for brainstorming okay answer garden it's it is in the chat box for the second time i need to remember that and check it out i think it's something interesting videos presentations yes absolutely agree so when i go online when i plan my teaching i definitely look for some extra resources some photocopyables some spreadsheets anything that i can use in my lessons and absolutely some videos youtube videos some documentaries maybe to use with like lower secondary school and i really really love ted talks using them with upper secondary school with teenagers some you know maybe controversial difficult topics to listen to some specialists talking about them then discuss it they really love it so that's what i do online in terms of well looking for something to teach with or to use in my lessons but of course i would be really really happy if my resources if my books that i use for teaching well already had all of this all of these photocopyables and videos and everything all in one place so i can easily access them and find something to make my classes even more interesting even more engaging and well pearson has something like that just what we all would hope for and for many of their resources so it's not just one book that has access to this platform it's lots of them and what is on the platform is pretty similar within different courses but some features are you know just unique some uh, are just unique for some particular book so i will definitely mention that today 
but when I was preparing this, I tried to focus more on these two brand new books for upper secondary school, which are the brand new second edition of Focus and High Note. So everything that you see today definitely applies to these resources and to some other Pearson resources as well. And what I'm about to show you is something that's called Pearson English Portal. You already know that from the title of our session. And basically, it's this interactive platform that has lots of necessary resources. Stop it. Uh, resources for my courses, my courses, not my courses, Pearson courses. See, yeah, she's disrupting me and I forget what I'm saying. Well, that's fine. That's what we have to, you know, deal with when we have cats. Give her the hugs. Romashka, you're receiving lots and lots of hugs from the people all around Ukraine. It's the most famous cat that in Ukraine that no one has ever seen, actually, before. So That's funny. Okay, so um, what happened is that Pearson had lots and lots of different resources for different cor courses all around the world, uh, you know, all around the internet on different web pages. And finally, they decided to collect them all in one place. And that's how Pearson English Portal was created. So today I will show you how it works. I will show you what you can find there and how you can use Pearson English Portal if you are using Pearson resources. So speaking about resources, probably the first thing that comes to mind when we think about teaching a language, well, especially English, and using something apart from the book, it probably will be listening, right? Listening tracks, listening, well, anything, something that we can use to develop listening skills for our students to hear the native speaker's pronunciation, to be able to understand what not only native speakers, but, you know, international English speakers are saying. That's very important. And listening in the classroom has gone a long way. You know, we started from these tape cassettes, that I still have somewhere at home from my primary school courses. And then we moved on to CDs, on these boom boxes, these portable CD players. Now we use computers more and more. And I think that, again, more and more teachers may not have, well, anywhere to put the CD in even. So I have a couple of computers here. Well, not all mine, of course, but for my family. And we don't have any CD players anymore. So we use MP3, we use the internet, right? We use the digital version of the uh, listening tracks. And they are all here on Pearson English Portal if you are using a resource like this. So you can see the first, what I'm going to show you today is audio MP3. So it's pretty simple. It's all here, all the units for all the, tr uh, all the tracks, for all the units, they are here on the platform. Plus, you've got two options, actually. You can uh, play them here online if you have the access to the internet, or you can download them beforehand, download them on your computer, on your phone, on your tablet, because Pearson English Portal is just access through the browser, so you just need the internet somewhere to download everything you need, and then you use it without the access to the internet. I absolutely agree. It's very important. Not all the schools have Wi-Fi or any kind of internet still right now. So that, that's an important thing. Plus, another thing what you get with the audio here in Personal English Portal are the scripts. And well, I'm sure everybody knows that there are scripts for all the listening tracks. Uh, they are used usually at the end of the teacher's book and maybe you even use them. So I remember my, you know, the starting of my teaching career. And for me, the script for the listening was basically for this lesson when you know you have the listening lesson and then suddenly the electricity is off at school, but you still have to do the listening. So you have to read it out. So I thought that the listening script is for that. Well, thank God, you know, I developed and I hope and I know that you use these audio scripts for lots of different activities. So I'm sure that you know 
uh, lots of different ways on how to use them in the classroom. So if you could just quickly share in the chat box, just how are you using these audio scripts? I'm sure that we will find something very, very interesting in the chat box now, because there are lots of ideas. And we are also, you know, we are always very happy to learn from you to hear some brand new ways, brand new ideas on how you use that. So if you can share something, missing words, filling in, okay, great, absolutely understand that, agree, can be used for reading, yes. So, you know, there are lots of ways how to combine reading and listening at the same time. Not all the teachers like the idea of that, but it has some benefits, so thanks a lot for mentioning it. Dictation at the blackboard, giving them to weak students, differentiation, absolutely agree, great. So filling in the gap, some speaking activities, great, amazing. So you see you have lots of ways, true or false, uh, improving pronunciation, definitely. Okay, so I prepared two activities. Maybe you already know them, so I won't say that they are brand new. I didn't invent them, actually. But maybe you will find them interesting and would want to use them in your classroom. So the first I called random line prediction. So this is, of course, the prediction activity uh, on the pre-listening stage. So what you can do, if you can print these scripts out, cut them into pieces, cut out some random lines, and just give them to students for them to try to understand what the topic of this listening is. Sometimes, you know, it may be really tricky because if you just choose these, you know, funny lines, something that can mean, well, anything in the world, they will have some, you know, heat discussion when they will try to, well, guess and prove to everybody that they are right and the topic will be definitely, well, this one. So something to use before the listening. And the second one is what you can use after you do the listening, which is called not from here or not there, so you can find it under different names. So basically it's, you know, like the opposite. So again, you cut out some, or you write on the board, some phrases from the session, uh, from this, you know, listening track, plus some extra phrases that were actually not in the track, but are quite similar. So maybe they have the same vocabulary. Maybe they have the same names of the, you know, the characters from the dialogue. So just make it, you know, as challenging as you want for your students. Shh. Stop it. That, that's impossible. Um, so something for you to think about. I hope you find them useful. If you do, that's great. I'll be very, very happy. That's the listening, right? Using uh, listening tracks to develop listening skills. But I'm sure, and you already said that in the chat box, that you not only use audio tracks to develop listening skills, but also something else. So can you just quickly type in the chat box what the other type of resource is? What is the other thing that we can use to develop the listening skills, definitely. You're absolutely correct. Uh, I'm talking about videos. Yes, well done, absolutely. And you know that, of course, we can go and find, uh, search for videos on YouTube. There are plenty of them there. But, well, Pearson has several courses that already have the video program, you know, embedded into all this and well that's uh, what you can use that's how you can work so you already have all the videos in the course and they will all definitely be present here on the pearson english portal uh, divided by units by types of videos they are all here and once again just like with audio you can either play it live play it using the internet or download it beforehand and use it without the access to the internet. So just the same as with the listening tracks, you can use the videos in the same way. And I actually prepared a very interesting video for you today. It's from High Note 2, and there will be different people talking about their ideas of what you should do to lead a happy life. 
So I'd like you to watch the video and in the chat box, just type in the ideas that you hear. So what do, they, do these people think we need to do to lead a happy life? Okay, so let's try and watch the video. I hope it works okay for all of you. What should you do to lead a happy life? To live a happier life, I should eat healthy, exercise more, travel more, and study as much as I can. Uh, I think to lead a happy life, one should find something they love to do and hopefully get paid well enough for doing it. To live a happy life, what you should do is you should have a good education, a type of education that you're passionate about, um, you should try to find a job that makes you enjoy your time there and also that helps all the people as well. To lead a happy life, we should all be kind to one another and uh, look out for one another and make sure that we're doing mm -hmm. things that make us happy. So, well, I'm sorry for those who were not able to see the video. You see that there are some problems with the connection for videos on ClickMeeting. I think it was the same yesterday with Elena's webinar. But, well, you can find it actually online on uh, our webpage devoted to High Note. So if you go to English internal education slash High Note, you will be able to see different types of videos that are present for that book, so you can check them out. But yes, you were absolutely right, those who were able to watch the video, um, you were right, it's being healthy, leading a healthy lifestyle, so healthy eating, exercising, um, being kind to each other, very good, uh, having a good education, and you know the job that you like, so all of these will definitely lead to uh, living a happy life and well yeah if you have problems during classes alexandra so maybe that's something with the internet connection maybe the weather you know is influencing it we don't know it can be and well actually this question that i had for you uh i didn't invent it myself it comes from here you see what should you do to lead a happy life it's a question from um the extra activity that is in the photocopyables for high note and thanks a lot uh, natasha natasha has shared in the chat box the link to the video so you can watch it in there it's all here it's all there online for you to take a look for so extra activities photocopyables definitely each course has lots of them and they will all be present in one place on personal english portal if you have such a resource uh, for me, it's useful because in the book, you, when you have them, you know, at the end of the teacher's book, it is sometimes difficult to actually photocopy them because you need to open the book really, really, you know, hard and it damages the book. I don't like doing that. So when I have them in PDF, just downloadable and printable, it's much more convenient for me. And, well, I actually prepared a very fun uh, activity that I found here in, uh, on Pearson English Portal in Photocopyables for High Note 2. It's called It Was Worse For Me, something that you may also try with your students. So the idea is that your students have to imagine they are 70 years old. So they are pretty old and, you know, um, pretty, you know, opinionated and you and your friend who is also 70 years old are talking about what the school was like when you were young and the task for the students is to prove that it was worse for them so they choose a phrase like here for example walk to school and then students uh, student a says something like this when i was little we had to walk for 15 minutes to get to school every single day 
And then students B thinks about it and says, okay, but when I was little, we couldn't just walk to school. We had to walk for 50 minutes to the bus stop and then take the bus to school. And then students A can think about something more and say just like, we couldn't just walk to school and then take uh, to the bus stop and they take the bus. But also after the bus, we also had to work for another 30 minutes to get to school. So while they need to, you know, imagine lots and lots of things can be done again in groups. Unless somebody proves that it was the worst for them and then they get a point. Plus, if you pay closer attention to the uh, the phrases, the sentences that I have here, it's not just about practicing vocabulary, but also grammar, right? We've got had to, couldn't, yes, you're absolutely right, it's the practice for past modal verbs. Sounds like somebody has seen that before, Ludmila. Have you? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, let, let, let's live with as a secret. So, Practice grammar, practice vocab, two in ones, very interesting, very simple, all in here on Pearson English Portal, photocopyables block. Another thing, the next here, is word lists. And you know, word lists come in all sorts and ways. They can be just lists of words, basically, maybe with listening tracks for pronunciation practice. Some of them, have extra exercises to revise the all the words from the course or to help students memorize it better like here it's from high note wider world has the same uh, uh you know approach to word lists and the new focus as well but some of the word lists are you know even more elaborate even more you know sophisticated and it definitely works like that with the users of focus so i'm going to show you what the word list for focus look like and you'll tell me if you would like something like this for your course or not okay so at first just help me fill in the gap our fashion store offers a wide range of something such as belts, headbands, and necklaces. So, do you have any ideas? What is the missing word? My cat is trying to get into my wardrobe. You are right, it could be goods, but the more you know, accurate word is definitely accessory. So, well done, thanks for your answers. And basically, what I just did is I explained, kind of, right? I delivered the meaning of the word, ac word accessories to you using kind of like a definition, an example sentence. So you understand that accessories uh, means, you know, belts, handbags, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, everything. So it's this compound noun, right? Uh, and this was the meaning. Why is it important? because we have actually this special approach for teaching vocabulary that is called MPF. So does anyone know what the other two letters stand for? P and F, what do they stand for? How do we teach vocabulary? It's meaning, then what do we have then? We have pronunciation, absolutely correct and the last one very interesting also very very important is form yes absolutely correct meaning pronunciation form so that's the usual approach that is taught on celta and you know tkt that's how we teach vocabulary first the students need to understand the meaning of the word by example sentences by definitions pictures well anything age appropriate then we teach them how to pronounce the word and only after that we go to the form or how the word is written right the spelling the part of speech and so on by the way i've got a question for you just you know came to my mind can you guess why do we use pronunciation why do we teach pronunciation before form why is it so important especially in english why do we teach them how to pronounce the word before we teach them how to spell the word, how to write the word? What do you think? 
Do you have any ideas? Can you share in the chat box? Just try to guess because of the differences. Yes, absolutely. You know, just think about the word accessories here on the slide. Think about the word, I don't know, enough uh, or though, thought, through, throughout, everything like that. You know, spelling and pronunciation are sometimes completely different in English. That is why not to confuse our students, but to make it easier for them to remember how to pronounce the words, we use pronunciation first. And you were right, we, we actually mostly teach the language for speaking, for communication. So they definitely need to be able to say the word, but if they try, you know, to thinking about all these tricks, like, you know, be beautiful and everything like that. So we don't want that. We want them to be able to say the word and then we teach them the spelling. So yeah, daughter, knight, yeah, you can come up with lots of examples. Absolutely, you know, English is pretty weird because it has, you know, roots in all the different languages. So it's a mixture. And yes, absolutely, Ola, I absolutely agree with that. That's, that's terrible. We don't want that. We want it, you know, straightforward, just like it should be. So why am I talking about MPF? Why am I talking about meaning pronunciation for? Well, because in the word list for focus, you actually get everything that you need to teach the vocabulary all in one place. So let's take a look. Here's our word accessories. We've got the example sentence that I just showed you before for meaning. We have transcription for pronunciation and we have the spelling and part of speech for form. So all these three elements are present in one place, in one word list, which is actually, as you can see, it's uh, Excel. So you can either use it uh, in a digital form. So all of your students will have the same word list, actually, with focus. All of your students have the same. So they can use it in a digital form, fill it in, add some example sentences, add some synonyms, whatever you like, or antonyms. So just up to you or they can print them out, collect them in, in a binder or a folder and use them in the classroom, up to you. Plus, you can see there is another column here, empty, so you need to fill it in. I actually, you know, uh, I've hidden the title. Can you guess what that is? Aha, uh -huh. you're, you're very, you know, shrewd, Ola, absolutely. Yes, right, you're uh, absolutely correct. It is translation. So there is the column for translation where you can fill it in. So everything will be definitely in one place here and it will not be lost. It is always here online in one place on their Pearson English portal for students and for teachers. So you can be sure that even if they lose or well, actually lose or lose their vocabulary that we make them right. Stop singing. Uh, they will still have the access to everything here in the digital form online. So in the word list, you will also see in the bottom all the subunits or subsections of the unit 1.1, 1, 1.2, 1, 1 1 1.3, plus review, plus use of English and word in focus. So all the words, all the vocabulary that should be learned in one unit is here. It's from all the texts, it's from, you know, every exercise that is in the course book and in the workbook. And, you know, that's how you know that you teach everything that, well, they need to know. So it's all here in one place on Pearson English Portal. And apart from the resources that are available here, the other thing is, uh, you know, access to My English Lab. So I mentioned it before, I can't help, you know, mentioning it every time I talk to anyone because I'm just so passionate about my English lab and I'm sure that if you tried it already, you know how great it is and how many advantages are there for using my English lab. If you are here for the first time, which could be, and you hear this name for the first time, the subtitle, My English Lab, I'll just quickly remind you and tell you that it's an online platform accessed online through the internet that contains an interactive version of the workbook that you use instead of the paper workbook. 
And when students do homework there, it gives them immediately the results, so which answers are right, which are wrong, and the mark. So they can also, you know, try to improve the mark. It helps us develop students' motivation on working more and more on their homework to get better results. And again, it's accessed on any device, wherever you have the internet. It may look differently, but still your students will be able to do everything um, here, you know, online on my English lab. It's available for more than 200 titles by Pearson. So any resource you think about, you are using or want to use by Pearson, it definitely has my English lab. And all of your groups, all of your classes will be in one account. So you don't need to create different accounts on different platforms, like with some other, you know, resources. Primary is one hand, you know, secondary is on the other platform. Here it's all in one place. So you don't, you just get used to one interface, one layout, and you just use it the same for all your classes, lower sec, upper sec, adults, everything is the same. And because students can do homework anywhere they are, you know, on the way home from the classes, just at home, sitting at the sofa or waiting before, in between the lessons, it's much easier for them to find time to do homework so they will not come to you and tell you, sorry, I didn't have time to do that. They may come and say that I didn't have the access to the internet, but well, that's something you can check with the parent all the time. And the best thing for you is that you forget about checking homework on the lessons. So no more you will come to the lesson and ask them, have you done your homework? Did you have any problems? Let's check that out and then spend 20 minutes just reading sentences one by one from the book. Everything will be checked by my English lab beforehand. So when you come to the lesson, you already know who has done homework who has had which mistakes and, well, you can just work on error correction and focus on some, uh, you know, areas of difficulty. So that's how you can use it. And at home, you just go to Gradebook, you look at the results, you can see the whole group, all their answers, their marks, each of their works. And you can also see here that you can actually run tests online using My English Lab. So for me, that was a brilliant thing. You know, no, no more printing dozens and dozens of papers, you know, for reading and listening and use of English and everything, then checking them, oh my God, then storing them in my bookcase for a year because what if somebody comes and wants to take a look at them? Well, nobody ever does, but still you have to store them. Well, they will all be here online. So if somebody wants to, see them you just open your account and show them the results that's here checked by the program absolutely objective no uh, you know uh, personal attitude to the children absolutely unbiased all here just for you if you want to try it out then make sure that you go by the link english internal education slash 60 days mel get access to the resources that you are using right now with your students or you want to use next year or you're thinking about using so just go take a look and um, then well hopefully you will like it and that is it with my English lab so summing up on Pearson English portal what you get is all the audio and video materials with audio and video scripts for you to use Photocopyables, everything that is available for this course will be there in PDF, downloadable. Uh, word lists for all the resources. Remember, focus word lists, absolutely amazing. So they are all here. Uh, My English Lab access, again, for the teacher and for the student, the access is through, my, uh, through Pearson English Portal. Plus, you also get assessment packages. All the tests, if they are on Pearson English Portal, all of them will be there. Answer keys for students' book and workbook. Some extra references, you know, like correlation tables with Pearson Test of English or any other exam. That's here. That's what you get with Pearson English Portal. If you just want to take a look on the layout, what the platform looks like, if it is 
difficult or challenging to get used to or not, then here's the link. Uh, there are instructions on how to use My English Lab for teachers and for students, video instructions. You will be able to see how to create groups, how to give homework, how to set up marks. You will hear my voice in all of the videos again and again. So get used to it. It's in there. And I hope that, well, you will like it and maybe you will want to use that in the future. So now let's see if we have any questions about Pearson English Portal. Uh, so, uh, Natalia asks, uh, can I later see all the mistakes in the test? Yes, of course. So, you can open each test of each student and you can see their mistakes. Or, if it is uh, the kind of task where it is possible, the program will create something that's called common error report, where you can see all the mistakes made in this task and which particular students made the mistakes. You can see how it works in the video instruction that is via the link here. So I will bring it back. So here's the link. I, I, I cannot do that. I don't know. It's frozen. Sorry. Okay, another one. Yeah, here's the link. Another Natalia asks, let me know, please, if it is possible to get access to Pearson English platform to go gather two. Got the book thanks to the quiz. Okay, great. So uh, in GoGetter 2, uh, you can either, you know, use the paper set version. So the paper student's book and workbook. So I'll just show you the example on high note. That's what I have at hand here. So stu uh, student's book, workbook. So that's how it works. Or you can use student's book with... Uh, a scratch code to my English lab. Uh, that's how it is for Go Getter. But with Go Getter, if you get the workbook, so if you also buy, a, you know, a workbook, so you got your student's book. But if you buy the workbook, you will get a scratch code there, here in, in the workbook, for my English lab Pearson English portal, and you will get your audios, videos for Go Getter and uh, also some tests and well everything that the student needs if you need the teacher access you need to buy actually the teacher's book so that's how it works with go getter it's impossible to download videos for high note too they are available only online uh okay so that may be uh i can check that out but um you know some of the some of the resources are kind of like um, copyright, you know, restricted. So maybe uh, that's uh, that that's impossible to use them like that. Or I I'm checking it right now. I'm on Pearson English Portal right now. So just give me a second to check because I want to be completely sure. Um, videos, videos, unit one. Uh, okay, so um, I can't actually see now who asked the question about high note videos. I hope you're still here, so I will still answer it. So look, if you got your um, high note, like if you won the book, uh, it was me, Olga, Olga Boyko. Okay, great. So if you got the student's book from the competition or whatever, of course, in the student's book, you have the access right to the resources here, the QR code and uh, the for, for the mobile app and the, the, the code, just the letter code for Pearson English Portal. So this is the student's access because it's a student's book. So students can only watch videos online uh, in my English lab when they are doing exercises or if you give them the task to watch them. But if you are using My English Lab as a teacher, so if you have your teacher's book with a teacher's code to Pearson English Portal to My English Lab, you will see it like uh, the, the way I showed it before. So you will see this on Pearson English Portal for high note, and then the videos will be downloadable. So they are downloadable only for the teacher to use them in the classroom, but students at home can access that online. So that's, um, 
I hope I answered the question. There was one more. Should we put any marks? Oksana Yarmolovich asks. So um, when you change the grading system, the, the usual system is from A to F. You can change it to the 12th grade system. There's a video how to do that. It's very easy. All the tasks, except for open writing, like essays, uh, are checked by the program. So you don't mark anything. The only thing you mark is the writing tasks and for some books, the speaking tasks. So these are the ones that you mark as a teacher. All the rest is marked by the program. And thanks, Natalka, for sharing the, uh, the email. Right, if you don't receive any of the certificates, please uh, write to us for, uh, on info uh, at dinternal.com UAE. And then uh, we will find it and definitely get it to you. So some problems with access code from Wider World Workbook. Yes, we do know that it is possible some, uh, you know, um, I don't know how, how to actually say that correctly. Uh, no, деякі партії, які були надруковані в якийсь певний момент, вони містять коди, з якими бувають інколи проблеми, але це все вирішується на тому ж самому сайті, який я з вами шерила, uh, Dinternal.com UA IT Support. Внизу є телефончики техпідтримки. Uh, це все завжди можна вирішити, таке може бути в нових uh, поставках, які ми маємо зараз. Мені здається, слава Богу, цього вже немає. Um, Natalia says, I can get into the portal only the products. Uh, ну, в принципі, це воно і є. Різниця в тому, чи у вас є uh, доступ вчительський чи учнівський. Uh, учнівський вчительський доступ – це різні речі, до різних курсів воно працює по-різному. Uh, відео, як, наприклад, оці ресурси для фокусу, з, одразу на іншої Наталі питання відповідаю, фокус 3, як отримати доступ. Uh, на цьому сайті, який зараз на екрані, ви бачите, dinternal.com.ua slash IT support, на цьому сайті відео для викладачів, відео для учнів, є відео, яке називається «Як отримати доступ до безкоштовних ресурсів на Pearson English Portal». Дивіться це відео, там є інструкція по кроку, що треба зробити, на який сайт зайти, яку анкету заповнити. Ви обираєте ресурс, наприклад, фокус, обираєте чи ви учень чи вчитель, і вам приходить код, який автоматично активується в вашому порталі, якщо у вас вже є там аккаунт, і ви будете мати доступ до аудіо, до відео і до тестів, мені здається, вчитель, і до вордлистів, які я показувала. Сертифікати. Знову ж таки повторюю, info.sobachka.internal.com.ua, все буде там. Ага, якщо ви кажете про сертифікати за 21 CLD, я точно знаю, бо це мій вебінар, ви ще не отримали цього, він буде, цей лист має надійти сьогодні, мені здається, або вчора, або сьогодні, в залежності від того, чи це була середа чи п'ятниця. Тому що ми підготували, пам'ятаєте, там була спеціальна пропозиція а, щодо безкоштовного практис-тесту, до іспиту, про який я розповідала. Тому ми, ми, ми готували сайт, ми готували всі лінки, покрокову інструкцію, що вам треба зробити, аби отримати цей безкоштовний практис-тест і знижку на іспит. Тому лист обов'язково прийде, я думаю, що максимум сьогодні. Дивіться всі папочки, дивіться спам, якщо Gmail, дивіться промо-акції, може бути там. Але він 100% не дійде стосовно цього вебінару. Так, є трошки затримка, але це тому, що ми просто намагаємось зібрати докупи все-все-все, що ми повинні вам надіслати. Дякую, дякую вам дуже за ваші позитивні відгуки. Сподіваюся, я дуже рада, що було цікаво і корисно. А, так, я дивлюсь, ще, ще є часу. Наскільки часу надається вчительський доступ? Вчительський доступ надається на три роки, учнівський доступ на два роки. Оля Вінців питає, а якщо вчитель продовжує користуватись тими самими ресурсами з іншими класами, наприклад, ви придбали собі Wide World в п'ятому класі, чотири рівні Wide World, на четвертий рівень, звичайно, ми вам продовжуємо доступ. Або, наприклад, якщо ви користуєтесь фокусом і, і там весь час працюєте з третім, четвертим рівнем, вам не треба кожного разу купувати новий тічер, ми вам продовжуємо доступ, якщо ви продовжуєте користуватись підручником. Учнівський доступ – два роки, тому що багато шкіл беруть підручники не на рік, а на півтора, або інколи навіть на два, тому учнівський доступ – два роки, аби ви точно встигли все зробити. Інформація чи однакова з ІП? Наталія Андроник питає. 
Ні, вона не зовсім однакова. Для деяких ресурсів, для деяких курсів ресурси є тільки на e-panel, наприклад, як Wider World або GoGetter. А для інших ресурсів, як HighNote, як Focus, старий Focus, новий, багато ресурсів для дорослих, SpeakOut, Roadmap, всі нові ресурси, вони всі мають щось на Pearson English Portal, чого немає на e-panel. Тому check it out as well. Uh, is high note too okay for nine form student three hours English per week if we work within it for one and a half years? Uh, так, high note другий. Uh, це у нас виходить, зараз я одразу ще раз перевірю, це А2+, Б1, дев'ятий клас, три рази на тиждень, абсолютно нормально, якщо uh, вам цікаво, вам подобається підхід high note, то 100%, Валерія, будь ласка, uh, для того, щоб впевнитись, що ви точно хочете взяти цей підручник. На наступному тижні у мене буде дві сесії, презентація Хайноуту. Можете ще раз на нього поглянути. Можете потім поглянути на його e-panel, на його My English Lab. Ні, на My English Lab не вийде. Але на e-panel точно можна. І тоді, знову ж таки, зробити informed decision. Прийняти. Яка вартість доступу буде надалі? Світлана Коваль питає. Доступ до My English Lab для вчителя йде за кодом в Teachers Book, тобто якщо ви купили Teachers Book, у вас є доступ на три роки. Все, більше тут нічого не треба. Якщо це певний ресурс, в якому в Teachers немає коду, наприклад, старий фокус або спікаут, і ми надаємо код, тоді ми просто маємо впевнитися, що ви працюєте з групою більше, ніж 10 учнів, і ми даємо вам Teachers'кий код, створюємо аккаунт, і ви працюєте далі. Тобто окремо його купувати не треба. Що стосується учнів, комплект My English Lab коштує стільки ж, або інколи навіть дешевше, ніж звичайний комплект паперовий. Знову ж таки, у нас були спецпропозиції для тих, хто користувався безкоштовно My English Lab впродовж цього терміну. Якщо ви його, цю пропозицію отримували, то вами мали зв'язатись. В принципі, далі всі, ну, діалог – це з менеджером. Я... Конкретно про ціну не скажу, тільки загально. Де можна побачити вебінар у записі? Вебінари у записі завжди з'являються на нашому сайті ELTDInternal.com.ua, але не швидко, тому що дуже багато відбувається онлайн. Ми не встигаємо просто все підвантажувати на ту платформу, на наш сайт, тому треба буде трошки зачекати, але запис точно буде. Так, чому при безкоштовному доступі моїх учнів вимагає система QR-код? Наталія Дубровська питається, я не можу одразу відповісти на питання, повинна знати, що це за підручник. Тому, будь ласка, уточніть, що саме за підручник ви маєте на увазі. Яку частину фокус краще взяти для 9 класу 5 годин на тиждень? 9 клас 5 годин, якщо це спецшкола, це definitely третій фокус. B1, B1+, і Old Edition, і New Edition – Перегляньте New Edition обов'язково, якщо ви раніше не працювали з фокусом, там і BBC Video, і нові уроки Use of English, і BBC Blogs, і Life Skills уроки. Тому зверніть увагу на новий фокус, але це 100% третій рівень, третя частина. Ukrainian textbook, can I start to use Wider World from fifth form? Анжеліка питає, звичайно, ви можете взяти Wider World з п'ятого класу, перегляньте, знову ж таки, Запросіть доступ на e-panel, перегляньте рівень і стартер, і рівень перший, який більш підійде вашим учням. Якщо ви користувались українським ресурсом, і я, ну, мені так здається, я можу спробувати, ви знаєте, ну, я думаю, що, можливо, у вас не спецшкола, такий у мене prediction, то обов'язково зверніть увагу на go-getter. Це... По суті, аналог Wide World за підходом, за цікавістю, за age appropriateness, так само відео BBC, все те саме, проте більш орієнтовано на не спецшколу, якщо у вас 3 години, або там 2-3 години на тиждень. Тому що Wide World дуже насичений, він реально вимагає як мінімум 4-5 годин на тиждень або на півтора роки. Тому запросіть доступ на e-panel і до GoGetter, і до Wide World, перегляньте і той, і той. Тоді приймайте рішення. Головне, щоб вам і вашим дітям було зручно і зрозуміло користуватись підручником. Дев'ятий клас – дві години на тиждень. Ольга Барська, що порадите? Зверніть увагу на фокус. Другий рівень 
Так, second edition або first edition – це вже на ваш розсуд. Якщо це не спецшкола, зверніть увагу на другий рівень А2-2+, для не спецшколи. Можливо, вам буде зручно взяти його на півтора роки і дешевше, і дітям простіше і зручніше, аби ви встигли все-все-все виконати. Проте, знову ж таки, дві години на тиждень маємо на увазі. І тоді ви можете взяти дев'ятий і половинка десятого другий рівень, половинка десятого одинадцятий, третій рівень, і ви закінчите Б1, Б1+. Це якраз той рівень, який вимагається програмою від неспеціалізованої школи. І для ЗНО буде достатньо, якщо раптом хтось захоче складати. Ну, і в принципі, це те, що вам потрібно. Тому зверніть увагу, другий, третій рівень на три роки розтягнути. Так, який підручник краще взяти для 9 класу після GoGetter? Юрій питає. Ну, дивіться, знову ж таки, це залежить від кількості годин. Якщо ви брали до цього GoGetter, або ви плануєте брати GoGetter, знову ж таки, якщо це не спецшкола, я все ж таки рекомендую звертати більшу увагу на фокус, тому що HighNote – це такий дуже челенджінг підручник, і не тільки стосовно контенту, а й за тематикою, Ну, в принципі, він на пів рівня, кожен рівень підручника на пів рівня сефер вище, ніж фокус. Він трошки складніший, більш насичений додатковим різним розвитком життєвих навичок. Тобто це особливий підхід і для учнів, і для вчителя. Знову ж таки, презентації фокуса і хайноута будуть на наступному тижні. Я буду робити хайноут, Геннадій Білоус буде робити фокус. Тому, Юрій, реєструйтесь, подивіться ще раз на один і на інший підручник, обирайте те, що буде їм, що більше підійде вашим студентам, тому що тільки ви їх знаєте. П'ятий клас після Fly High, знову ж таки, дивлячись на те, чи це спеціалізована школа чи ні, зверніть увагу, go get her, why the world, не забувайте також Next Move. Всі презентації всіх підручників зараз на цьому тижні, на наступному тижні продовжуються. Буде Next Move, Наталка буде проводити Мехненко, яка зараз мене модерує, мій модератор сьогодні. Тому дивіться. Ми все ще можемо, намагаємось розказати про книжку, чим кожна з них відрізняється одна від одної, аби ви з огляду на свої години, на свої умови, на свій підхід як вчителя і на ваших учнів могли вибрати те, що їм цікаво. Так, іду по черзі. 11 клас, 2 години, який підручник? Якщо 2 години, 11 клас, не спецшкола, беріть третій фокус, B1, B1+, не прогадаєте, знаєте, як то кажуть. 100% він вам підійде, обов'язково перегляньте перше видання, друге видання, і пенал, дивіться, дізнавайтесь, чи хочете ви з відео, чи хочете ви без відео, як вам зручніше, як вам цікавіше. Будь ласка, фокус, третій рівень, це для вас. Анна питає, для студентів ВНЗ другий, третій курс. Якщо це спеціальність, ну, філологія, скажімо так, то я 100% раджу звернути увагу на наші підручники для дорослих, це спікаут і роудмеп. На цьому тижні були вже презентації, вони будуть у записі, так само зможете ще раз переглянути, або подивитись на e-panel, подивитись доступ на MyEnglishLab до SpeakOut, наприклад. SpeakOut більш розмовно-комунікативно орієнтований, roadmap зручний, тому що там є два шляхи, якими можна йти, короткий, довгий, дивлячись на те, чи треба вам більше підготовку на скілзи до іспитів якихось, тобто ви обираєте, як працювати з підручником. Або якщо вам подобається хайноут, хайноут прекрасно підійде для вузів, перші початкові курси, перший, другий, третій, обов'язково зверніть увагу так само на хайноут, третій, четвертий, п'ятий рівень, можливо, він вам сподобається теж, і вашим студентам точно сподобається, бо він орієнтований на оцей bridging the gap between school and adulthood, там багато навички навчання, академічні навички, те, що треба для кар'єри в майбутньому, тому студентам теж буде цікаво. Так, останнє питання Галина Бахуринська, якщо я правильно, якщо не правильно прочитала прізвище, вибачте, будь ласка, що порадати взяти 8-9 клас, не спецшкола, 2 години на тиждень. 8-9 клас, 2 години на тиждень. Якщо до цього ви працювали з якимись іншими ресурсами або з українськими ресурсами, то вам, мабуть, зручніше буде теж починати вже 
фокус, не будемо вже брати останні якісь рівні, там, why the world should go getter, вже краще починати з фокуса. Зверніть увагу на перший рівень, брати перший рівень в восьмому класі, це, знаєте, не, не, не зазорно, абсолютно. Ви маєте підібрати те, що підходить під знання ваших учнів, тому фокус перший, другий рівень, продивіться обидва і виберіть той, що вам здається, буде зручніший, а далі ви можете спокійно брати їх на півтора роки, і все у вас буде прекрасно. Так, дуже-дуже дякую. Багато ще було питань. А, для якого класу GoGetter другий? Це шостий клас. Так, дякую, Нонталко, що відповіла в чат-боксі. А, шостий клас, 4 години, що порадити? GoGetter – це ваш вибір, 100%. Ну, можна Wide World, якщо хочете на півтора роки, зверніть увагу. А, Ага, фокус перший легкий, фокус другий складний. Бачите, як? М -м ну, можливо, знову ж таки, це залежить від вас, від ваших учнів. А, подивіться, хайноут перший, він нелегкий, він буде складніший, ніж перший фокус, але, можливо, трошки легший, ніж другий фокус. Тому перший хайноут, оцей помаранчевий, подивіться на нього. Другий, а, для шостого класу фокус. Ну, звичайно, для шостого класу я розумію, що учням буде складно, тому що все ж таки фокус, як і хайноут, він орієнтований на старших підлітків, на учнів 14+. Другий клас, 11-12 максимум років, це ще діти, тому це інший підхід, саме тому ми, ми рекомендуємо для середньої школи все ж таки підбирати підручники для середніх класів. Це GoGetter або Wider World або NextMove. Те, що вам зручніше. Третій, восьмому класі згодна. Перед тим все ж таки спробуйте щось для середніх класів. GoGetter або Wider World, якщо берете фокус, подивіться Wider World. GoGetter буде не гірший, трошки просто... Інший підхід трошки, може, розріджений, але він абсолютно не гірший, не легший, він просто інший. Тому зверніть увагу на саме підручники, які написані для цього віку, тому що не тільки граматика, не тільки лексика впливає, а й підхід, в принципі, до побудови підручника, до уроків, до того, як воно виглядає, наскільки їм цікаво, наскільки вони вмотивовані. Тому звертайте увагу на це теж. Саме для цього ми зараз і робимо ці два тижні презентації підручника, аби ви могли б переглянути все, що у нас є, і підібрати саме те, що підійде вашим студентам на наступний навчальний рік. Так, дуже-дуже дякую всім, хто був зі мною. Сподіваюся, що на більшість питань мені вдалося надати відповідь. Якщо у вас є будь-які інші питання, info.sobachka.dinternal.com.ua, пишіть, ми спробуємо максимально задовольнити всі ваші потреби, підібрати вам те, що вам найбільше підійде, тому, будь ласка, дуже дякую, що були зі мною. І сподіваюся, побачимось на наступному тижні на презентаціях Хайноуту зі мною і з моїми колегами на всіх інших наших вебінарах. Залишайтесь здоровими, залишайтесь щасливими, залишайтесь вдома. Послаблення карантину є, але все ж таки краще, знаєте, бет, як англійці знають краще за всіх, better safe than sorry. So stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. See you next time. Bye.